Hello, young man. How are you? Theo, dada. Dada. He got other things on his mind. Any new developments with Theo lately? He can climb the stairs. Uh, yeah, yeah, Theo and Mega are just like BFFs. Yeah, we just hang out all the time. Play around, dance. We're doing a full day of eating today. And Mega's saying we're doing like a carnivore challenge or something. Is that true? Well, I want to. I plan to. So starting today? Do you want to do it too? How many days? I was thinking five. Okay, we're doing a carnivore challenge. So I already had some coffee with this heavy cream. It's from a farm, it's raw cream. But coffee is not part of a carnivore diet. Carnivore plus coffee. And with my carnivore diet, I'm not doing it the way you'll see people do it mostly on the internet. I'm gonna do lots of eggs probably, cheese. We got a lot of cheese now. So yeah, I'm gonna do a lot of cheese probably. I'm gonna do these salmon things. What are you making? Coffee. A little bit of cream. Give us like a big word of wisdom. A big word? Just like, like words. Words. Yeah, like a really long word that has a lot of wisdom in it. Well, lately I've been thinking a lot about like my purpose in life. Hmm. And that's, I guess, been pushing me to strive to do a little better each day. Even if it's just like be more playful with Theo's. What are some good words of wisdom? Search and you will find. Breakfast time. Theo. <laughs> has already discarded half of his kiwi onto the floor. He's not a big kiwi fan, but we had a ripe one, so I thought I would give it another try. But look at him go at the eggs. Kiwi and eggs for him. I'm reading this book, it's by James Nestor, it's called Breath. And I don't remember why I bought this, it just arrived one day, like I had it in the Amazon cart, which I put a lot of books in the Amazon cart, but Mega bought it, I think, right? Yeah. And I've, I read so many like nonfiction self-help style books that for one to stand out to me is doesn't happen that often because I feel like I've heard it all before. This one totally kind of a new concept to me. How important breathing is for your health. So what's that takeaway you were telling me yesterday? Well, okay, so the big points so far, I'm only halfway through. Big point number one is that we think mostly about like oxygen and trying to intake more oxygen when really it's the opposite according to him. You want to intake less oxygen, exhale more carbon dioxide. So you want your exhales to be a little bit longer than your inhales. And they do this thing where they go on like jogs and they inhale for two seconds. They inhale for two seconds. He needs more eggs. You need more eggs? <laughs> They inhale for two seconds and they exhale for five seconds or like two strides throughout the course of a 30 minute jog You're like really having an oxygen deficit and what they try to monitor is your carbon dioxide like ratio in your body Most people are really low like two to three percent. They say you want to be up to like seven percent But the big point I want to talk about is early childhood is key for future breathing skills so the fact that we just eat mushy food throughout, like baby food throughout our whole childhood, we don't breastfeed as long anymore. That is why we have smaller mouths, weaker chins and jaws and stuff. We're more typically congested and like 40% of people have breathing problems now. That's a lot of the reason why. Look at what he's doing. We're doing a Monday morning meeting. He's just stomping all over my laptop. It's so funny that they don't see any controversy. This is the situation. We got the new camera crew right here. Yeah, what are you doing? Setting up a shot? And he's also eating a puff. Oh, I almost dropped the camera. It is 10.30 right now and I just put Theo down and he's, he's trying to get to bed so you can see that he's like just on his belly, kicking his feet, so that's what he does. And I'm gonna get in a quick workout before I make lunch for Matt and I. He just went out to run an errand, so this is the perfect time for me to work out. And then I will be cooking breakfast eggs and like maybe sausages, some sort of meat. And I'm wearing Matt's childhood baseball t-shirt and it fits me like I'm a giant adult. It's definitely not like nicely fitting. It's very tight, um, but I'm gonna wear it to work out. So I will check in with you at lunch. We got sausages, which are not 100% carnivore. So if you're doing the diet strict, you wouldn't be having these. I'm not doing it super strict though, right? Yeah, whatever you want. Bacon, which I guess also is not technically carnivore, right? Because there's like celery powder and stuff in it and like seasonings. Then we got eggs. And then I got this, look at this butter. This is from the farm. 
low temperature pasteurized and it's like super dark yellow. Raw milk and cheese here as well. This is my slice. This is a really good, um, it's almost like pepper jack, a little spicier, but not too spicy. I got a new theory that I'm putting forth today. I don't know if it's a theory or if it's a philosophy. So with cooking, we can only use ghee, aloe, can't use coconut oil, and butter. I'm using butter. But um, the theory is active versus passive calorie restriction. Have you heard this somewhere before? Because I feel like I'm making real ground here and just like coming up with new theories now. The theory is when you go online and you look at standard dieting advice, it's about actively restricting calories. Calories are what you're controlling. You make your effort, you use your willpower to drop the calories. So that is like the leading variable that you're trying to control. In reality, the only real way to lose sustainable weight, in my opinion, passive calorie restriction. So you're not worried about restricting calories on a daily basis by eating less food. You're worried about eating high nutrient foods so that then your hunger dissipates over time and you end up eating less calories automatically. You're not fighting with your body to eat less calories. It happens automatically. That's kind of the principles behind a keto diet. I don't think I've heard of someone put it like this though. It's probably in my brain somewhere from somewhere else. That's how most things work. Most people struggle because they're like fighting, constantly trying to calorie restrict. What do you think about my theory? Yeah, I think you definitely, maybe you're just assigning it active and passive, but I think that's something we already are aware of. I like mine over easy. I like mine medium. Because if you don't have like bread to like sop up the yolk. I just eat the yolk all in one bite. Oh, that's true. You are you're very particular like that. <laughs> just got back from the grocery oh. store. A new one, Greenwise it's called. Yeah, it's Publix's organic brand. What do you think of it? I love it. It's like a small Whole Foods. I think cheaper too. He was trying to get some salmon. Oh, he's hungry. So he's um, yeah. salmon for lunch. But I'll show you guys what I got real quick. They have really good smoked meat. Um, they didn't have an, a lot of turkey, so I got smoked turkey and smoked pork loin. So that's gonna be great for a snack. We got some more sausages, and there's just eggs in here. There's a small trip, because they're just like carnivores trip. Yeah. Matt really likes these sausages. They're really spicy though, so be careful. Some cream and some berries for Theo. Theo loves berries. And Matt found these bath bombs. So I'll use one tonight. Energize Zen Yoga Wellness Strength or Cozy Night. Cozy Night is more cozy your night, style. Yeah. For lunch, Theo is having some raspberries we just got from the grocery, some smoked salmon, and banana coconut milk ice cream. But he's been throwing most of it on the ground today. Yeah. So Julius is getting all the scraps. So I forgot to mention that while Theo was having his lunch, I had some of this smoked pork loin that I just got from the grocery store as a snack. He was up from his afternoon nap. And we got dinner going. So real simple here, I'm just air frying some steaks. I just put them in. So there's two like bone in, what are they, ribeyes? New York strip and then one is a boneless New York strip. They're from different places. You can see these two on the sides are from a local farm and the fat is very yellow. This one, not as much. Where's the middle one from? Middle one's also from a local farm, but a different one. So Theo for found the uh, like the door shock absorber and he loves it. I'm having a cheese appetizer since I guess that's all I can really have. This one's good with rosemary. This is also added. for mail time. Here's our steaks. This is a really big one. How much does this weigh? A pound. And then these two are a pound also? Yeah, but with the bone. We're gonna split these up. Theo's gonna get some and I'm also gonna have some butter with mine. Is mayo cut? Olive oil's not good. Oh, yeah, that's Never mind. Of, you can maybe make it with, like, no, no probably not. Hit it all in the parking lot. Leave you dead in the parking spot. It ain't nothing to talk about. I pull up with these hunters and clear it out. Come along, come aside when it's scary out. Yeah. Bitch, I pull them bikinis out. Blowing smoke out my nose, bring a genie out. Bitch, it's quiet. So here are the bath bombs, and I am doing Mom's Time Out, the Zen one. I don't have steak on my face. Smells nice. I'm going for a bath post dinner. Okay guys, that's it for the day. Day one carnivore diet challenge, five day, right? Five days. First day is always easy, but I like day two, three, it's gonna be harder. Oh, I think first day's harder. No. Cause I'm just like, what do I snack on? Oh, I can't snack. I'm still like getting used to it. Do you feel full? Yeah, I feel pretty full. Oh, so I did have some of the smoked meat that I got from the grocery today. 
after dinner. So like I went on a walk with Theo and then I came back and I had some deli meat. And I'm having this right now. I have one of these every single night. It's just the best. Comment below guys with your experiences. If you've tried the carnivore diet, if you liked it, if you hated it, what's your opinion on it? And if you have any questions, we are making a separate carnivore challenge vlog for all five days so we can answer all your questions in that and just shed whatever light on whatever topics you have. All right, we will see you next time. Bye.